Hello guys, welcome back to another Android app development tutorial. Today I will show you how to use Lottie animation library in Android applications. And like I promised Pankaj, I will also show you how to use Lottie animated checkboxes or switches. So before we begin any coding, I must tell you what Lottie is. So Lottie is an open source library built by Airbnb and it supports from Jellybean API 16 which is quite good thing to support animation in older version of Android because it is pretty lightweight and just about a few KB in size. So how it works? Well it works quite differently in Android framework like you can create the animation in After Effects export it to a JSON format using body moving plugin then you can simply render that so if you want to know more about it please check out this video descriptions i have already mentioned all the links so that you can follow along to create your own animation and export that in a json format although in lottie marketplace there has a ton of free inbuilt presets published by other creators and i'll be using some of those in this tutorial because truly i don't have enough knowledge in after effects but I know the very basics about it. So maybe in future I will bring all this together like creating an animated JSON in After Effects and export that from there to use for. Hi my name is Subhajit and I make videos on Android app development. So if you haven't subscribed this channel yet then please do subscribe and hit the like button that encourage me to make more contents. So let's get started. As you can see guys, I have already created a simple hello world project and I also have made some changes in this activity main.xml. So let me just show you what are the changes that I have made here. As the root layout, I am using linear layout where I have added a gravity center and orientation vertical. Therefore whatever widgets we add everything will be centered like this hello world text view anyway now let's talk about the implementation part of lottie animation library okay so at the very beginning i will add the lottie dependency in the build.gradle of module level but we need the dependency right so as you can see i have already opened up the lottie official website and at the time of this recording, this is the latest and greatest version, 3.4.2. So now I'm going to copy this line. And paste it in this dependencies block. Let's replace this Lottie version variable with 3.4.2. Now sync the project and that's it to add the dependency. So if you have done this, now you can add the Lottie animation view in your activity main.xml or in any other layout files. But before that, I will download some animated JSON files from Lottie Marketplace. As you can see, these are some free animations like I said before. However, you can search whatever animations you need, like food. And here is all the food related animations. So from here, I'm going to download uh, this one. Then simply click on download, then Lottie.json. But before download, I would like to increase some animation speed from here. We can also change the background color. And this URL you can also use to load this animation in the Lottie animation view. However, I'm going to download this animation.
Next we must place this JSON in a raw folder or in assets folder. So I'm going to copy this. Then right click on the race, new, then Android resource directory. Then choose resource type raw then ok now paste the json in this raw directory so we have added the library dependency and an animated json file next we have to display the animation so here in this activity main.xml I will add Lottie animation view. Angle bracket, Lottie animation view, hit tab, then layout with let's say 240 dp, layout height 240 dp also. Then I will add scale type fit xy just like an image view lottie animation view is actually extended with the image view class so that we can use this skull type attribute then lottie raw race at raw food delivery we can also use lottie loop true then lottie autoplay true however you can also add few more attributes like lottie speed or max frame or min frame and so on but these are the minimum requirements to load an animation in this view okay so let's run the code As you can see the animation is working fine and that's pretty much it to display an After Effects animation using Lottie library. Well now I would like to show you how to use animated checkboxes or switches that are available in Lottie marketplace. So at first I'm going to download a checkbox. Let's search checkbox. And these are some animated checkboxes. You can download any animation you like. So I'm going to download this one. Click on download. Then Lottie JSON. Let's call it checkbox. Now save it. Copy the JSON file. And place it in the raw directory. Then inside the XML just below this hello world text view i will add another lottie animation view angle bracket lottie animation view layout with ref content layout height also ref content then lottie raw race at raw checkbox Let's also give it an ID. So ID, let's say checkbox. Next, I will write a few lines of code in the main activity.java so that when a user taps on the checkbox, it will be behaving like a checkbox. Okay, so private Lottie animation view. 
called checkbox. Let's initialize it. Checkbox equal to find view by id r dot id dot checkbox. Now I will set an on click listener. So checkbox dot set on click listener. Then new on click listener. Now here we have to use a flag. Like in general every checkbox has a two states. Either checked or unchecked. So right above the onCreate method, I will create a boolean variable called isChecked. Let's also initialize it with a false value. Now inside this onClick, I can check if is checked or not is checked. So if this boolean variable not containing true, then I will play the regular animation. Something like this. Checkbox dot set speed 1. Then checkbox dot play animation. Then update the boolean variable is checked equal to true. Now in the else part, we have to reverse the animation. So I'm going to copy these lines. Then paste in here. Now to reverse the animation, pass the negative value here, minus 1. Then I will also update this is checked to false. And that's it. Now let's build the project to see in action. Let's click on the checkbox. You can see it is like in checked state, right? Let's click on it again. Now it's like in unchecked state. But if you noticed, there was a little delay before the reverse animation. And for that, you have to understand the animation. Like in this animation, it actually starts animating from 20 to 25 frames. And it ends in between 45 to 50 frames. Therefore, we can grab these points by calling set min frame and set max frame method. Okay? So just after the initialization, I will call checkbox dot set min frame twenty. Then checkbox dot set max frame. Let's say fifty. Now let's build the project again. Let's click on the checkbox. It is checked. Let's click on it again. Yes, this is what I need. So I think that's it for today. And if you guys still have any questions or suggestions, then please leave your message in the comment box. And if you think this video helped you a little bit, then please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more contents. So that's all for today guys. Thanks for listening.